Hi boys, let's catch up sometime. English Department in Khalid bin Ahmed Independent School welcome you in third report revision for grade 8 in the name of Allah most compassionate most merciful dear students first of all would like to remind you that you can only go as far as you push think before answering I wish you a happy day your exam consists of three main parts part one is about three reading comprehension texts part two about writing strategies and word knowledge part three to write in compositions. Are you ready? Yes, of course. You are always ready. Now, let's start our revision. Attention, please. This is the first part, part one, reading comprehension. As usual, I always advise you, I always ask you, please read, read, read before answering. You have to read carefully. So reading is the best way to the answer. Reading comprehension 1. Read the text, then answer questions 1, 2, and 3. Put X to indicate the correct answer. The Internet is one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century. Some people cannot live, cannot live without it while others believe it can play a negative role in the life of its users. Using the Internet has many advantages. Firstly, it is a source of information. Users can find information on just about every possible topic. Students can do research for school assignments and find data that is not available anywhere else. Secondly, the Internet is a tool of communication. You keep in touch with friends and family with Internet video and voice calls, instant messaging, and email. In addition, through social networking, you can meet people with similar interests, share information, and look for a job. Moreover, the internet offers several online services which make our everyday lives easier. For example, you can pay bills, book tickets, or do your shopping. On the other hand, there are lots of disadvantages too. Children, teenagers, and even adults can easily become addicted, can easily become addicted to the internet. People get isolated because they prefer surfing in a virtual world rather than going out. Kids spend their free time playing online games and become less active. Another danger is online crime. 
Users should be careful because personal details can be stolen without warning. Lastly, computers with internet connection can be at risk. They can get viruses that have the capacity to destroy, to destroy all the programs or delete information. To sum up, using the internet has many advantages, but we must not forget the disadvantages. In my opinion, the internet is very useful. However, people should use it wisely. This is the passage, and you have to read it slowly and carefully. Not necessary to know the meaning of all the words. Let's move now to the questions. The first question is, this text is mainly about, about what? The dangers of the internet, the importance of the internet, when the internet was invented, the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. The correct answer is D. The advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Let's move to question number two. According to the text, the internet is a devil. Only adults can use the internet. People shouldn't use the internet. People should use the internet wisely. Yes, the correct answer is D. People should use the internet wisely. That's right. Go ahead. Question number three. According to the passage, using the internet makes kids healthy and clever, lazy and isolated, relax and sleep well, do homeworks every day. The correct answer is B. Lazy and isolated. Well done. Go on. Question number four. What can you do through social networking? What can you do through social networking? Such questions, you have to go back to the passage and find the answer. Let's go to the passage. Yes, this is the passage. Through the social networking, you can meet people with similar interests, share information, and look for a job. So this is the correct answer. And you have go back to the question to see the answer. Yes, you can meet people with similar interests, share information, and look for a job. This is the same answer. Well, let's move to comprehension number two. Read. You have to read carefully. Read the text, then answer questions one, two, and three, both X to indicate the correct answer. Follow me, please. Follow me. A sign language is a language which uses manual communication and body language to convey meaning. This can involve combining hand shapes, orientation, and movement of the hands, arms, or body, and facial expressions to express a speaker's thoughts. They share many similarities with spoken languages, which is why linguists consider both to be Consider both to be natural languages, but there are also some significant differences 
between signed and spoken language languages wherever communities of deaf people exist sign languages differ signing is also done by persons who can hear but cannot physically speak while they have space for grammar they have space for grammar in a way that spoken languages do not sign languages sign languages show the same linguist properties and use the same language faculty as do spoken languages hundreds of sign languages are in use around the world and are at the cores of local deaf cultures some sign languages have obtained some form of legal recognition while others have no status at all a common misconception is that all sign languages are the same worldwide or that sign language is international each country generally has its own native sign language and some have more than one though sign languages may share similarities to each other whether in the same country or another one no one knows how many sign language there are you have to read carefully try to understand the text well to be ready to the questions now let's move to the questions yes boys answer the following questions according to the text what is not important in sign language what is not important in sign language culture motion grammar gesture yes if you go back to the to the message you will find the answer here they have space for grammar in a way that spoken languages do not they have space for grammar so this is the correct answer the correct answer is grammar question number two what does the word deaf mean of course this question number two for this passage but number six for all the questions what does the word deaf mean it means people who cannot hear people who cannot walk people who cannot see well or people who cannot see or hear the correct answer is people who cannot hear amazing you win go boys what is a sign language what is a sign language in such questions you have to go back to the text let's go back to the text quickly yes this is the text reading comprehension two the text a sign language is a language which uses manual communication and the body language to convey meaning and this is the correct answer yes the correct answer is a sign language is language which uses manual communication and the body language to convey meaning let's move to reading comprehension three take care please 
read the text then answer questions 1, 2 and 3 put x to indicate the correct one water is essential for life without it life on earth would not exist however although we know this for a fact we keep polluting the water on our planet one of the main causes of water pollution is waste which is pumped into rivers lakes and seas the waste comes from homes factories and farms some of this waste can harm people animals and plants while other waste causes disease some rivers have suffered permanent damage which cannot be undone these rivers are already biologically dead another main cause of large-scale water pollution is oil spills oil spills are caused by leaks in ships or by accidents involving oil tankers thousands of tons of oil spread over the surface of the sea and as a result destroy marine life life on beaches kill sea birds etc as a result destroy marine life life on beaches kill seabirds etc many measures have been taken by governments to stop water pollution for example the people responsible are fined in spite of this the problem is very serious and something must be done to prevent water pollution in my opinion people should help factories shouldn't be located near sources of water such lakes and rivers the government should make strict laws about pollution and educate people in ways in which it can be prevented to sum up it's much better to prevent pollution than to try and clean it up afterwards. Please read carefully. Read. You have to read. Let's move to the questions. According to the passage, the causes of water pollution are waste and oil spills, animals and plants, predators in the sea, fishing and scuba diving. Of course, the correct answer is waste and oil spills. Question number two, number nine, two according to this passage, of course. How do you feel? Now, I ask you, how do you feel now? I think you are enthusiastic. You are ready to answer this question. What does the underlined it refer to? The underlined it refer to what? It refers to river, lakes, water, factors. Of course, you have to go to the passage and discover it correctly let's go to the passage you will find it water it refers to water question number 10 what should the government do to stop pollution as i told you such questions you have to go back to the passage let's go quickly to the passage yes what should government do? Yes. The government should make strict news about pollution and educate people. Teach them, learn them how to keep their environment clean. Educate people in ways in which it can be prevented. So this is the answer. 
have to go back to the question to find the answer yes the government should make strict laws about pollution and educate people in ways in which it can be prevented let's move to the second part of your exam this was the end of part one end of part one thank you boys part two writing strategies and word knowledge question number one choose the word that belongs in the blank my mother always helps me my brother sorry my brother always helps me do my homework he is the person who always helps people is helpful helpless helpling help it yes I hear you the correct answer is helpful let's move to question number two choose the word that belongs in the blank Ali called the travel agency about flights to Paris travel agency Ali called the travel agency why ask about or asks about or to ask about or for ask about we learned that the full infinitive is used for purposes to express purposes use the full infinitive what is the full infinitive here it's C to ask question number three this cake is delicious and it's easy easy make to make making made it's, it it's verb to be followed by an adjective so it take fall infinitive to it's easy to make well done boys welcome this man likes you he always greets you well all the students evacuated because of the fire or the students was evacuated were evacuated have evacuated is evacuated the correct answer is where because it's plural so was is not suitable is not suitable and it is a passive form passive voice so have is not correct so the correct answer is where yes yes choose the word that belongs in the blank my mom makes me the washing up after every meal my mom makes me makes makes do you remember make and let yes it's followed by for infinitive or bare infinitive make let I can say let me go let me speak okay make me do that does to do my mom makes me do yes very effective the following question yes yes you are very good students choose the word that belongs in the black good students will fall mark well it's also passive voice will be give will be given were given are given good students will yes boys I hear you yes fantastic it's be given will be given 
Well done. Again, yes. Now, find the word that belongs in the blank. That be a means bag. His is brown. That must be, that can't be, that might, that aren't. If you are sure about, if you are sure about it, you have to use what? Must or can't. But his is brown. And this bag is another has another color, color. So the right answer, the correct answer is how? Can't. Yes, can't. That can't be a means bag. He his is brown. Let's move quickly. Choose the word that belongs in the blank. Don't drink Ali now. Why? He be at work now. He is at work. He is be? No, of course not. He can't be? Of course not. He must be? Yes. He must be at work now. Let's move to the following question. Find the word that matches the opposite of the underline. Opposite, opposite. Bear attention. Pay attention. Yes, the mobile phone is important, but it has some advantages. The opposite of advantages is yes, it's very easy. Advantages, disadvantages. Choose the correct passive voice that belongs in the following sentence. They have told Mary the truth. Mary have been told the truth. Mary has told the truth. Mary has been told the truth. The truth has told Mary. Thank you quickly and give me the answer. The answer. Yes, think. Mary have been? No. Mary have? No. Mary has? Yes, but without been? No. Mary has been told the truth? Yes. This is the correct answer. Choose the word that belongs in the blank. Avoid your hands on your hips in Indonesia. Why? Avoid it. Avoid take gerund or infinitive. Gerund. It means verb ing. So you say avoid putting. Yeah, avoid putting your hands on your hips in Indonesia. Yeah. Choose the word that belongs in the blank. English. In my school, five lessons a week. English. Teach. Taught. Is taught teaching. The best form is yes, is taught. Well done. Let's go. Choose the word that belongs in the blank. Careless drivers in my country. What? Was find, are find, weren't find, have find. Of course, careless drivers are find. Yes. Following question. They will finish their exams next Monday. The passive voice is the exams finish next Monday. The exams will finish next Monday. The exams will be finished next Monday. The exams will be finished next Monday yes will be finished well that's verb to be and past participle this is the correct answer please move quickly choose the word that belongs in the blank my dad got angry because another driver made a root at him a root what gesture word movement drive 
Aru gesture. Let's move. Choose the word that gives the opposite of the underlined word. The opposite. You have not to be patient. Wait till I finish. The opposite of patient is unpatient, impatient, impatient, non-patient. The correct answer is impatient. Yes, let's move quickly. The opposite of logical is illogical, 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 unlogical. Yes, it's illogical. Let's move. Stop moaning. English is very easy. What the meaning of moaning? The underlined word moaning means what? Stop talking, stop learning, stop teaching, stop complaining. Yes, complaining. Yes, easy, easy. English is very easy. And you have to take it easy. I love scuba diving. So am I. Neither do I. So do I. I do either. The correct answer is... So do I. Yes. Go quickly. Show the word that belongs in the blank. The lift broke down and some people were, were escaped, killed, trapped, teaching. The lift broke down and some people were trapped. Show the word that belongs in the blank. The earthquake was very strong. Many buildings built set up, collapsed, evacuated. The correct answer is many buildings collapsed. Show the word that belongs in the blank. The fire broke out in the neighborhood, but the firefighters could put it up, put it off, put it out, put it down. Yes, put it out. Part 3, writing, composition, it's your turn, and you are very good, I'm sure you will write it correctly, and you will get the best mark. Good luck, take it easy, thank you.